Hello. Today we're going to be showing how the Nutanix Calm Jenkins plugin can be utilized to create a fully automated CI CD pipeline. Here we see an image of the workflow. I already have this top half configured in my environment, so let's take a look at my setup. Within my GitHub repo, under the settings section, I have a webhook configured. This will send uh, information about my Git push to my Jenkins server. On my Jenkins server, we see my pipeline. I'll go ahead and hit configure to take a look. We see it's tied into my GitHub project URL and that we are utilizing that hook. Finally, we have the Jenkins file stored within the same repository. That way it's subject to version control. So let's take a look at that Jenkins file. Here we see it's tied into my same uh, GitHub URL. We are grabbing the last commit ID we're building the Docker image, and then we're publishing the Docker image with two different tags. So pretty straightforward. We even see I have a successful Jenkins build uh, from earlier today. So now let's go ahead and tie in uh, the Nutanix Calm plugin. That way we can get a full CI CD pipeline where we'll actually launch the Calm blueprint that we've been working with and the result will be a fully functional application we can then perform testing on. So first step is to install the plugin. Go to Manage Jenkins and Manage Plugins. Go to Available, search for Calm. And go ahead and install that. All right, now that's installed, we'll go over to Manage Jenkins again and Configure System. We scroll down a bit, uh, we see the Nutanix Calm plugin configuration where we can actually plug in our Prism Central IP. I'm going to have to add uh, my Calm credentials or my Prism Central credentials. I'm going to use admin. You could also use uh, really any credentials that have uh, rights to launch a blueprint or run application actions. All right, and then now I need to switch over to those new admin PRISM credentials. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the verify certificates. I don't have uh, certificates installed in my, my lab environment. And I'm gonna hit verify, and if you did everything correctly, we should see the verification successful. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now, we see here we have the Jenkins plugin installed. What we need to do is tie that into our pipeline in our Jenkins file. So how we're going to do that is we're going to select our pipeline and we're going to go to the pipeline syntax section. So it's a snippet generator. Essentially, we just need to add a string to our Jenkins file. We're going to select step, general build step. And we see under the build step, there's two Nutanix Calm pieces. Uh, the first option is application action run. So you can actually choose an existing application and run an action against it. So I have this Jenkins server uh, I launched with a Calm Blueprint, and we can actually run and perform uh, certain actions against it. So if you had a production environment and you wanted to maybe just update your containers uh, after a new build, uh, you could have a custom action that performed that, and then you could launch that action with, with this same plugin. In today's example, we're just going to do a blueprint launch instead. And that allows us to launch a blueprint, which will result in a new application. So this is useful for a QA or dev environment where you can then perform you know, extensive testing upon it. So I'm going to select my project. I have it selected under the demo project. And we're going to grab my Nutanix Cloud Native demo blueprint. Next, we're going to grab the application profile, just default. And it's going to grab the runtime variables. Uh, these should look familiar to you if you've been following along. Um, we actually don't have to have these in here. If you're content with the defaults, then we can just go ahead and delete these. I am in my case. I'm, I'm just going to leave them default. But you can obviously plug in runtime values uh, within here and, and modify those fields if you need to. For the application name, I'm going to just do Nutanix Cloud Native NCN uh, underscore the build ID. 
And finally, we have this wait for application launch to complete. Uh, that will actually pause the, the Jenkins build and wait for the application deployment fully to complete before Jenkins will report to success. Uh, so it depends on your use case. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that uh, selected. So now I have this pipeline script file and I essentially need to add this to my Jenkins file. So I'll come back over to my developer workstation and I'm gonna go ahead and edit that. Name the stage and then I'll just paste in that snippet that I got. Easy as that. I'll go ahead and escape out, write and quit. And lastly, before I do a git push, I'm going to change the, the shop tag uh, so it's obvious that we you know, have an updated container. So that's actually within the settings.py file. So we see here the Oscar shop tagline uh, running on Nutanix Cloud Native. I'm going to go ahead and change that to built by Nutanix column Jenkins plugin. So I'll write and quit out of there. I will do a git add on my Jenkins file and this settings.py. I'll make sure it looks as expected. Yep, that looks good. So I'll commit. So now we have it committed. All I should have to do finally is do a git push. We see it was pushed successfully. Come to my pipeline. We see the build is successfully triggered. It hasn't picked up on the, the new step quite yet. It hasn't hit there. Uh, but we should be able to wait a, a minute or two and we'll see the, the new step pop in. While we're waiting, we can go to the GitHub hook log and we'll see uh, this hook that was just triggered. So if you are doing a troubleshooting and it's not getting triggered, that's a good place to go. So I'm just gonna fast forward the video a little bit uh, while we wait for this to build. All right, we now see that the build and publish of our Docker container was successful. And we see this new step in our pipeline process called application launch. If I toggle over to uh, Prism Central and Calm, I'm going to go to the applications and we see our NCN uh, underscore two application getting launched. We can go to audit and we see it provisioning. So again, this is going to take about 13 minutes or so uh, to fully deploy. So I'm going to fast forward the video at this point. All right, and it looks like our application has successfully deployed uh, through Jenkins. We'll come over to Calm, and we see that it is in a running state, so that's great. Let's actually access the application now. I'm going to go ahead and grab my services for this carbon cluster. All right, and we can just double check the pods. That looks good. And finally, let's grab the IPs. I don't have them memorized of this cluster. Grab one of them and add in the port. Copy that into my buffer. And here we see our expected storefront, except our tagline has been updated with our change. So all the developer had to do was run a git push to push up his local commits and a fully functional application is now ready for them in under 15 minutes. Thanks for your time today.